offended? No, what he said? No, anyone here? Who non Arab? Non Arab? Are you offended? No. Are you offended? No. Okay, okay. Can you apologize to me? No. I'm offended. Of what? By what you said. Okay, I, I will repeat what I said, and you repeat what you said, and then we'll discuss it. Yes? Okay? No. That wasn't why we are here. One second, one second. Why, was, why, why did you bring Let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. Let's I'm talk about this. Let's talk reason. about this. Hold on. And I'm here, you think I'm here playing games? You should supposed to be in church, listen, by the way, today. Listen, listen. By the way, I'm, I'm here, here. I'm on Friday. Almost as you are in mosques. Can I say something? Yes, say, say. The reason why I'm here yeah, is because yeah. I asked this brother. We have a very nice discussion over there, right? Very respectful. And I asked him why was the Quran sent down when we already have the Torah and the Angel? You and he said, that. You didn't say the Torah and Angel, you didn't say all that. Okay, what did I say? How go, did the conversation go. went? No, at least you said I'm lying, so say what I said. But you asked me why, why was the Quran revealed? <coughs> all the other books were corrupted, that's why it came. Exactly. But you never said Torah and Angel, you no, never no, said no, all no. these other things. Fine, but all the previous book corrupted, which are the previous books? Not the Torah and Angel. So what, yeah. what's the uh, Okay, okay, okay. Okay, like, okay. I am asking, why... Can, we, can we repeat about worshipping God from Arabia? Shall we talk about this? That's not necessary. It's not Do you know why it's necessary? Because many people think, actually, God from Arabia, and, that's the, and not just you, okay. many non-Muslims, Many non-Muslims, okay. they've been imposed. Can you ten minutes on that? Yeah. Many non-Muslims. Many non-Muslims. I will tell you something. Many non-Muslims, especially people from Africa, that the idea to say, why we worship God from the Arabia? No, let's worship Jesus, the white man. That's the one who we should worship. That's the thing which was imposed on the people there. So here I will say to you, we do worship a God from Arabia. We worship the God which God has told us in the Quran is the same God of Noah, the same God of Abraham, the same God of Moses, the same God of Jesus, the same God of Muhammad. Peace be upon all of them. That God whom he has sent them to, to the humanity to guide them to the path. He is, and by the way, name Allah is the same name that Jesus used because Jesus spoke Aramaic, yes? speak Aramaic and, and as well Hebrew, never spoke English, yeah? So Jesus, when he was saying and, and speaking in Aramaic, the Aramaic term for Allah, I Allahu, Allahu, I will just say, I'm just giving you, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So Allahu, listen, come, come to this. I, I will stop, I will stop. Just tell me when you want to stop. Listen, 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 tell me, tell me what, what do you want me to stop and I will stop, yeah? Yeah, you've spoken for yeah. five minutes, can no, I no, you, can, you, can, you can't speak, do, 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 do you understand my point? So. So the Allahu is the same, which is the term that used Elohim in Hebrew, Allah in Arabic. So it's not an Arabian God. Do you understand? Now is your comment to say. You said, I'm from Africa. You are surprised that we from Africa worship a white man. Yes. And I said, you Muslims, colonize many countries and you impose Islam and a God from Arabia on those countries that you went. Allah was not known in Africa. It was known only in Arabia because it's Arabic language, right? The Jews never mention Allah in all their books. You can the best you can get close to is Elaha, which is not the same anyway. So the name Allah is not known by any of the previous prophets. It's a new name, and according to the Torah, we don't need to follow a, a God that is not known by our forefathers. Now, for you to say, we Africans worship a white man, it shows you are ignorant. Why I'm saying you are ignorant, respectfully, is because Jesus is not from Europe. He's from Israel. They are not white people. The fact that some idiots make a picture of a white man and they bow to is against the bible so you don't call them christians and you don't impose that on me you don't know me from anywhere and you say i'm worshiping a white man that's where i said i was offended and i need you to apologize okay did you finish yes okay now here that's another problem because here you don't and even mm -hmm. either you don't know either you don't know the terms allahu in aramaic did you speak aramaic you will say yes the language in Aramaic, Allahu, it is used term for God. They say Allahu in Aramaic language. You understand? So that's for you to search and to find out, to know that term was used. As well, you said Elohim, the same thing means my God. Yeah, by the way, Elohim, which is again talking about God. So that term is not a new term being imposed. As well, you mentioned about Muslim. Now, does Muslim now colonizing any nation? 
For example, where are you from, brother? Somalia. Somalia. Did you choose to be Muslim or someone? Is someone, is someone putting a gun on your head to become a Muslim? So, so why, why you are you a Muslim, my brother? Is it by conviction? Because you accept Islam, because you know Islam. Even though you are here in the UK, you are able to choose your faith, but yet you choose to be Muslim. Am I right? So they are not being colonized. They, are, they accepted the faith willingly. So that's the duty of us as Muslims. So it's not an Arabian thing. Islam accommodates everyone. When you go to the mosques, we don't have mosques for black and mosques for white. We have mosques for everyone. Everyone, black, white, Chinese, all of us, we stand in one row. You know who's the Imam? Is the one who knows mostly the Quran. And most of the Imams in the UK, do you know where they are from? From his country, Somalis. Why? Because the most one, mashallah, this is the most country that has the most population of the people who memorize the Quran from the cover to cover. That's how it is in Islam. Yeah. Islam honors people based on the knowledge. Okay. Do you understand? Hopefully right. that answer. Now, before I, I go further, what is the meaning of Ilah? God. God. Yeah. And what is the meaning of Allah? The one God. Okay. So when we say God in Hebrew, like you say, it's Elohim. Yes. Because that's the name for God in the Hebrew. Yes. Ilaha, like you try to allude as if No, no, Allah, same. Allah, Elohim. I said Elohim is, know, is, is, is my God. I, I, Ilaha. Okay. That one is not Allah. It's not the same. But I get what you're saying. Ilah, in English, like God, in Arab, uh, Arabic, is Ilah. But the name Allah. It's not just God. It's the name of the God you said. No, it means the one God. On. Means one God yeah. Every God has a name. Word God is nothing. It's generic. If you say the God, you said nothing. It's okay. just Babel. A name of a God. The Jews know the name of their God. It's not Allah. The name in the Old Testament is written in caps. Lord, capitals, but in the Hebrew language, there's no capital. No, the Lord capitals. Shows there's no the capitals name. in Hebrew language. No, no, I'm saying in the translation. I'm sorry, you are right. In the translation, they put caps in Lord in caps. If you go to the there's no caps in Hebrew word, language. The actual word is Yod Hey Vav Hey. Is the word letters? That is the name of the God they said. So the word Elohim is generic. If you say the God, the God, the God. It doesn't even make sense. Okay, I worship the God. It can be a God of a tree, a God of a sea, the God of, it doesn't make sense. So, Ilah and Allah in itself is a contradiction. Unless you say it is a proper name for your God. That's why I'm saying the Jews never knew any God known as Allah. Now, the question is to you. Did Jesus knew the name? Which name? The name of God? Yes. Okay. If you go, by the way, and read, by the way, some Syrianic, actually, Bibles, which they try to bring it, they actually they use Allah for you to know. It's for you to know. Which means Jesus has used that term, that Aramaic name, which Jesus didn't speak your language. Jesus speak, speaks, or he spoke Aramaic, and he spoke Hebrew. So, and the New Testament is actually, should be, written in, in Aramaic, which is, there is no copy, a single copy of this in Aramaic language whatsoever. Right. Then Old Testament, thanks to the Jews, by the way, for not for you, not for the Christian, that they have preserved all the kind of, of the preservation of the Old Testament in Hebrew language. But the New Testament, it was later on preserved in Old Greek language, which is the first, you know, patch that they found is nearly hundred and something years after this. It's one patch or two patches. And then later on they try to compile it in a Greek language. The irony is, Jesus never speak Greek at all in his life. Never communicate to no one with the Greek. No one speak, speak Greek. I don't know where the heck Greek came from. Okay. That's firstly. Now. now adding to this, so let's use the term which is used in Greek language. What language? What the Greek has used for God? You see, this is the problem. So that's why we were talking about the unique term of Allah, yeah, in Arabic, and as well in old Aramaic language, yeah, that means the one God. That's what it means. That is why the Christian, for you to know, that's the palace you don't know. The Christian in my country, which we have some Christian who are Arabs, and they use the, even they have even Orthodox Christian. They use the term Allah. Have we use it? They will use it exactly the same Allah yes, as I'm saying it. So it's not imposed on yeah, them. No, they okay. choose to do it. Coming. Look, 
you said, I forgot about, I need to chip in. Islam, the caliph, the first four or five Let's, listen, let's talk about that. What's no, the, you leave, said leave the caliphs. they never colonized any country. I didn't say saying, that. Did I say this? I didn't say you this. You said they never... I didn't say this. What did I say? I said Islam colonized some country, just like you say the, Brit, the white people colonize Africa. Why I'm saying... Topics, no, no I forgot mean? to respond. I'm responding to that one. I'm saying... Islam to to the colonized a lot of countries. Like no nonsense, nonsense. Yes, Egypt is one. Egypt? Yeah. Colonized by... What's the anyway. He doesn't know this. It's okay. Listen, it's fine. This Allah, Ilah, is like I said. Allah, you said the meaning is the God. No, the one God. The one God. Which is it? Which is what? The one God. Definitely not Jesus. Who is he? Not Jesus. Who is he? The God. The, the, who is the creator of the heavens and the earth. No. <laughs> now, okay, the, is that on, funny? Is no, that no, funny? No, I feel offended now. Oh, Why no, did you I'm laugh? Sorry, Why did I'm you laugh? I'm sorry. I don't accept I'm your sorry. apologies. That's Why did you say that? I see how I apologize. I don't apologize because I said the truth. <laughs> so that, because I'm too, no, let me finish. Yeah, yeah. Me finish. Easy, okay? <laughs> I'm easy. Now, by the way, I'm, I'm very easy, okay, by the way, with you. Okay. Yeah, listen. The whole idea of Allah, the God, the one creator, many, many, many countries have their own version of God. No. Yes. If you go Except to Christians, they have three versions. <laughs> you are interrupting now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I never interrupt. I will so be sorry about this. Now, if you go to the Greek, they have their God, they tell how their God created the heaven and earth, whatever. Zeus, See? yeah, they say if Zeus. If you go to uh, Zeus, oh, Arabia, say, Zeus, he has so a son, Hercules, half God, half man. Yeah, sorry, I can't carry you. Bro. Now, oh, come on, you take, listen, too, you take too much time. I'm saying the word Allah, it doesn't make sense. The God, the one God, the God, the <laughs> okay, one God. Okay. Issue eight, the Hebrew God has a name. You don't worship the same God. We don't. I know. Uh, good. I know. So therefore, your God name can Who told you? Who no, told you no, we no, Muslim? Who I told you we Muslim? Who told you we Muslim? Now. We claim that we worship the same God. Me yeah. now. You don't respect me. Come on, carry on, finish. I'm saying. You, by your own, your own admission, we don't worship the same God. Yes, that's true. So therefore, we can't have the same name. I, I agree. Yeah. You yeah. worship Jesus. I would, I would not worship Jesus. That's the I'm difference. Even talking Big about difference. The Jews. You are saying Jesus. Leave the Jews. Yo, Jesus. This is the thing yeah, here. Yeah, Christian, whenever they get trapped, they go to, to Jews. You can't respect rules. Come on. That's why I say we should time. You can't respect rules. I allow you to talk. You can't But you talk too yourself. much. I mean, yeah. But you're asking him questions. Yeah. One second. Actually, two minutes. Let's keep it two minutes. That's too much. Two minutes? Okay. When you say that God, the one God, the creator. It no, no, he finishes already done. He's going to finish now. We'll start the two minutes after he okay, finishes. Okay. It's the start my flow. When you say the God, the God, the God, it doesn't make sense. The one God, the creator. In every culture, they have their own, the God, there. But still, they have a name for that God. Like I'm saying, the Israelites, they have the word El or Elohim. But still, they have a name for their God. I think we, let's stop the timing now. Let's, be, let's yeah. have my turn now, and then we'll come so to you. Yeah? I think we should because conclude on this, because we'll go on. Then I, my question that brought me here. Yes, yes, start. okay. Now, going back to the point, you see here, yes, yeah, stop. This is the problem with the fallacy that you brought, and that's a, this is a bigger problem. Firstly, you don't know about the history. You don't know how, how Islam entered Egypt. Actually, when, they, when the Romans, they were colonizing Egypt, they were colonizing Egypt, and actually they were imposing and enforcing Catholicism, on the Coptic Egyptian, they were enforcing them. I don't know what church you follow. Do you follow, by the way, which church? No. Which church? Just, just out of curiosity. No. You don't follow any church? You don't care about churches? Oh, yeah, I know. So anyway, so when the, you see here, that, why, why do you... Oh, I'm listening. Yeah, so, so, so then they seek help from who? From the Muslims. They said, help us, because those people, they're imposing Catholicism. We have letters with this, by preserved letters. So the Muslims, they went there, kicked out the Romans, and allowed the Coptic church to actually to prosper, to stay there. So allowed them. That is the, this is how Islam it is. So if it was imposing, then they will force them. Then we will have zero, zero Coptic in Egypt. They came to Jordan, which is where I came from. Palestine, Sham, which is Levant, which is Syria. Again, Christians were there. They left them with their faith. They didn't change them. We still have a Christian living in our country, and they have the churches, which is an ancient churches. They're still there. No one forced them to change their faith. They stayed there. No so the point is, when you say colonization, it's totally different when the true colonization came to Africa, enforcing people to change their faith, 
to become Christian, enforcing them to worship a white man, and that's the identity, white, at least fair color, Semitic, like similar to, someone he said to me, by the way, Jesus looks like you, is more Semitic. I said, does that make it better? I mean, to worship a, like, a, like an Arab guy. That's a, that makes the problem more. Do you see the point? So that's why Islam t came to us, to seize all of these concepts and to make us to worship the one God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. That's the same thing. No, it has a name. It has 99 names in Islam. <laughs> okay, now, why I'm here, like I said, those are peripheral, it's not really important. But you have agreed that we don't worship the same God. Yes, I agree. Yes, good. Yeah, you believe in three and we believe in one, we're, we're different. Anyway, whatever. You don't, we don't worship the same God? Yes, I agree. And why I came here is I want to find out why was the Quran sent down? That's my question. Yeah, done. you're done with this? You, you finish yeah, in two minutes, question, yeah? So you can start. Okay, okay. All right. So now here the Quran sent down. You see here, when the Torah were revealed, and, and then after that, shortly after that, people start going astray. That's why God has sent Jesus, peace be upon him. The, the, the Hebrews, the people, the, uh, the, uh, the Israelites, they, they, they disbelieved in Jesus. That's why because he disbelieved in Jesus, they become, they become non-believers, non basically. And that's why because of this, and not just that, and even the message, the original message, were distorted over a period of time. Even the message of Jesus has been distorted over a period of time. That's why God has sent the final message, the message of Muhammad, peace be upon him, which is, it is the only faith that honors Jesus on earth, apart from Christianity, is the only faith giving <coughs> Jesus his status and his position, his true position as a prophet, respected the prophet and messenger of God. And he is one of the five almighty, uh, one of the five, the mightiest prophets of God, the messenger of God. Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. Those are the best of the prophets and messengers, peace be upon all of them. And actually, Jesus, we all are the only one who believe Jesus is the Messiah peace be upon him and we believe that he was he was in his miraculous birth that he was born with no mother with no father but with the mother we are the ones who were the jews they said he's a bastard we were we as muslims we say no way he is he is someone created but he is the creation of god and he is sent by god as a prophet and messenger of god that's how it is so when islam comes actually to honor Jesus and as well to remind the Jews to believe in Jesus peace be upon him and to believe in Muhammad peace be upon him and as well to remind the Christian don't lift up Jesus to worship and make him equal to God don't say he is the son of God in fact give him the status that he is he deserves he's a prophet he's a man he's a prophet and messenger of God that is the, that's why the Quran revealed and that's why the Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam sin yeah Come to notice, notice that all the things he said it's his opinion. He never show any evidence for it. Subhanallah. He just said, <laughs> before I ask you okay. why was Quran sent down, I was expecting him opening the scriptures and then down. show me in the Quran that the previous book is corrupted and Allah said because it's corrupted, I send the Quran. Okay, read the evidence that you have right there. He didn't give you any evidence. Suck it, suck it, suck it. It's suck it, suck it, suck it. Let him finish. Let him finish. Start it again. No, no, no. It's not start. It's not gonna start. It's not gonna start. It's not gonna start. Come and carry on. So they can interrupt. You are, you are, you are wasting your time. You're wasting your time. Don't entertain them. Whatever it is, you admitted that we don't worship the same God. Yes. Therefore, why are you referring to the book? Which the God in that book, you have already agreed that we don't serve the same God. So why Allah is sending you a book to a God that you don't worship to correct that book? You are contradicting yourself. Two, the Quran never said any of the things you said. According to the Quran, every nation gets their own prophet. And the prophet must speak the language of that nation. And no prophet is sent out to a nation that he doesn't speak their language. So, according to the Quran, it was sent to the Arabs because they were the last to receive a prophet. And that is the reason why the Quran was sent down. You never gave evidence, but I have my evidence. I'll give it when you finish responding to me. And I'll read the verses proving that 
Muhammad was sent to the Arabs and Arabs only because he speaks only Arabic and Allah says no prophet will be sent to a country that he never speaks their language. And this is in your Quran, unless you want to say Allah contradicted himself. Yeah, yeah, he took care. These are the times that he interrupted, by the way. I agree. I, I moved on. You see, yeah, yeah. You see yeah. that's a problem. By the way, that's a problem that this guy he has. First of all, first of all, Allah says about the Prophet Sallallahu We have sent you as a mercy to the whole of mankind. So he wasn't, he wasn't sent to the Arabs. And Allah, of course, he has sent the prophets and messengers, yes, with the, with the tongue of the people. And that is why, you know the beauty of it, the beauty of the Quran. We have now, while we are talking with this gentleman, we have 15 million people on earth memorize the Quran from cover to cover with vowels and people they don't understand they don't understand the complication how complicated is the Arabic language how complicated is the language of the Quran 15 million people on earth memorize the Quran from cover to cover 90, 90 95 percent of them are non-Arabs 95 percent of them are non-Arabs come here yeah non-Arabs and actually, there is a big portion of them they don't understand. And yet, they memorize the Quran, they put efforts. Children as young as five and five and four and five years old, they memorize the Quran. If you go to the land of this man, of this gentleman, yeah? Yes. When you go to Somalia, you will find a boy who's five and six years old. Say to him, start the Quran. We'll do. Well, call it the um, Subah. <laughs> they will finish. Yeah? Not one. There is no single person on earth. Memorize the Bible in the original language. No single one. Memorize it. You have to open it. So you see here, that is how it is. That's why you tell us this message. Those children from Somalia, those children from India, those children from Pakistan, those children from even from Philippines, even from anywhere, anywhere on earth, who memorize the Quran, they knew it is the it is the word of their God. They knew it is the word of their God. And they will when they grow up, they will try to memorize to understand what Allah has said to them. But yet they understood the concept that tells us that the language of God, that Allah has sent something in the language, the people, they have to strive to learn it. That's what it means, not to change it, as you did. Like I said, you just waffle, no evidence, no quotation, waffling, opinion. This is what I've been experiencing here in this part. You gave no verse to prove anything you said. Nothing. I said you have a verse. Let me talk. Let me talk. Don't lie, don't lie, don't lie. Listen, when you lie about me, stop here. Yeah, stop sorry, here. Stop, sorry. Don't lie about me. Why interrupt? You see, don't lie, don't lie. I said the verse. I said the verse. Which verse? I said well, my, we have sent you the mercy to the mankind. Which is the verse? Which is the verse? Did okay. you quote any verse? Yeah, I quote a verse. You quote that's a verse. Did you give the verse? Okay, you, you want the number? You want the number? You want the number? No. You said it. Let me, Let me carry on. I'll, 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 you will carry, you will carry on. Let me give you. Let me give you. Listen, we stop. We stop. By the way, when you do we it. stop. No, no. I do, but you if I lie on you, you interrupt me. Because it's not when you lie, when you lie about me, turn. when you lie about me, I will inter you interrupt what me. What did I say? Uh, you told me you didn't quote a verse, and I quote a verse. What language am I talking with you? English. What could, could What language I said to you? I did said you to you, there is a verse. There is a verse in the Quran. Yes. 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 Now start my time. Let me go. Are you going to show the verse? Can I? Can I go on? Can I go on? Okay. He's already talking up for a verse. Surah 16, Ayah 36 says, "And we certainly send into every nation a messenger, worship God and avoid."